Skip, I thought it was a, a, a classic Westbrook game. Uh, he played extremely hard. He wasn't <laughs> efficient. He was uh, Obviously, efficiency is not his strong suit. Um, they fell down by uh, a great number. And then Russ, being in Russ fashion, he brings them back. Skip, he almost has a triple-double in the fourth quarter alone. Mm -hmm. He had 11 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds. And it seems like, to me, as the game got in the fourth quarter, his efficiency picked up because he was 6 of 15 going into the fourth quarter. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Skip, I think he finished like 11 of 22, something like that, 11 of 23. So, but, he, but he had a, he ended up with a uh, – wasn't as 10 bad. 10 of 22. 10 of 22. Yeah. It wasn't as bad mm -hmm. as going into the, the fourth quarter as you thought. You're like, man, Rush, you're going to have one of those type games again. You're going to end up getting this triple-double, but you're going to get blown out in the process. But he will, considering Bradley Beal's not there, mm -hmm. he, he got everybody involved, 20, what, 21 assists, Again, last night with only three turnovers. Skip, you could live with that. Normally, a guy has that many assists. He would turn the ball over five, six, maybe even seven times. But he only had three turnovers and 21 assists. But it was Russ. And Skip, I, Russ is a standalone. I, I think the thing is we probably need to stop comparing him to Oscar, to Magic, because he's different than those guys. Um, I think the thing is, is because Russ has done this so frequently, and... It's not easy to do, but we've seen so many other guys. Skip, I remember in the 80s with Magic Johnson, it was a thing, a triple-double. I'd never heard of the term until Magic started doing it. Triple-double, triple-double. Like, what? You got double-digit in three different statistical categories. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. But nobody else was really doing it. No. You, you get Bird occasionally did it, and you get Magic. But for the most part, Skip, that was it. Nobody else was doing it. And then, it, you know, more and more. And now, Skip, you got 28 different players have triple doubles. Three years ago, it was 37. So it's kind of lost some of its pizzazz because so many people, and it was normally reserved for great players, Skip. Mm. Only great players got triple double. Mm. You ain't seen some willy nilly guy getting a triple double. Now you look up like, he got a triple double? What? So it's kind of lost some of its pizzazz because so many random people, not the great, Russell isn't great. So Russell getting a triple double, LeBron getting a triple double, or Steph Curry, or Kyle, you know James Harden, we like okay, yeah, yeah. But Skip, when the eleventh guy on the bench gets a triple double, Skip, I just saw Sabonis. Sabonis had like 21, 20, and nine. Mm. I'm like, I, he good, but Skip, he ain't Elijah one. Yeah, he ain't David Robinson. And so I think that's what's caused this Skip is lost some of his luster. <laughs> Because so many different guys, and they're not great players, are getting triple-doubles, and people are looking at it, well, damn, how hard is it? But Russ is not getting a 10, 11, and 12 triple-double. Dude getting 18, 25, 22 triple-doubles. He's getting 20, 20, 20 triple-doubles. Mm -hmm. Not 30, 20, 20 triple-doubles. That's different. But I think it's lost some of its luster for the simple fact so many different guys are getting it and they're not considered great players. And so that takes some shine off of what Russ is doing, but it should not mm. because what he's doing is exceptional. Doesn't always equate to wins, but you know what? I'll take Russell, Russell Westbrook on my team, Skip, mm. because he won't cheat me on effort. And he that's all not. I can ask. I was with you until your takeaway. I don't know that I want Russ to be my point guard in my first playoff game. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> just not sure about Skip that. Me, I, just, I, I, I do want him on my team. Yes. I get that. Yes. Nobody's ever played harder. Every mm -hmm. single dribble possession, every single step of the night playing. Every night. As hard as you can conceivably physically play. And to your point, to amplify, they're down 17 after three quarters. Yes. They're, they're down 96 to 79 on the road. Right. And I'm thinking, oh, well. I said the same thing. Oh, well. You know. Hawks I'm you know what I did, Skip? I said the same thing. I thought the same thing you thought. I go in. I said, you know, I'm going to shave. This game is over. Skip, I you come back. You shave at night? I shave at night. Oh. I shave at night. Skip. So shave I, at skip, day. Skip, I know. Skip, I shave at night. So I was like, oh, this game is over. I can shave now. I can just. Skip, I come back, and they're down four. I'm like, what the hell? It didn't take me that long to shave. <laughs> so. To your point about his stats, almost having a triple-double in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. He had 10 assists in the fourth quarter. That is his career high in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Because he said, this is my night. Yep. I'm going to do this. Yes. And I'm going to run through that figurative brick wall to victory. Yep. I am going to will my team to victory. I don't care how what it takes. 
he he led all players on both teams in rebounds with six in the quarter, which is extraordinary right. in and of itself. Right. That would be 24 rebounds for the game. So I'm saying I lost track of just how great he was in and of himself. Right. My man Bertans from the Spur, the ex Spur, he starts making threes, and finally <laughs> he banks one in from straight on. And I said, "This is their night. Yep. They, they got this." Yep. <laughs> okay, so now it's a microcosm of Russ's career because it's going to come down to can you make a free throw or a three-point shot to win the game? Right. You got to the precipice. Yes. Can you look over down mm -hmm. into the canyon? Can yep. you can you leap over into victory? And what happens if with 30 seconds left, he's got Herder on him, and he can take Herder, and he knows that if we could see this. And so he drives on him. I thought this was an and this, one. This too, is yeah. an and one. And he just gets ham body hammered. Yeah. That's just a body foul. That's, that's just like a football foul. Yeah, that's an and, and one. And yeah. Russ is like, give me a break. And he just wills the ball in the basket. He just says, I'm going to force yeah. this ball past the front of the rim. <laughs> it hits hard on the front, and it just goes right over the front of the rim. Yeah. And I'm saying... And one. And then I sat back and I thought, I don't know if he could make the free throw because right now he is shooting 64% from the free throw line. He's he's not what you'd call a clutch late game free but throw he, But he's he been good lately. He's he was 5 of 5. Okay, he was 5 of 5. I, it was his night. This was his <laughs> history in the making, and he knew it. So then they go down and they get a call on the other end where there wasn't a foul called, and they get the ball back. Right. And and. Scotty Brooks doesn't call timeout because Russ has got the ball. Yeah. And you, he can just see that look in Russ's eye. Right. And Russ goes to link the court and pulls up. And he gets what I thought was a pretty open look from three. I, I thought this was pretty good. And what does he do? He does his jabby recoil stroke, that little flick back, you right. know. And there's no follow through on it. And it's it's like wishing and hoping this is going to go in because you you got to follow through on the shot. You know what I mean? The yeah. great shooters follow through. You know that jabby recoil right. that he's got from from deep three, and and it it doesn't even have a chance. It it just nicks the front of the rim, and it was just sort of I thought for, vintage Westbrook. I thought I thought for a second he was going to attack Trey and yeah. then pull up because he didn't need the three skip. You only need you know, a two, I, I, and you win. You don't need you don't need a three. He was going for yeah. He's just going for the gusto. Okay, it, it, it's good. That, that's it. That's Russell Westbrook. It is plays hard, not efficient shot to win the game. That's a skill. I don't really think that's a good shot. Right. I well again, he wanted to cap it <laughs> off by doing something that we say you can't do. Right, because. He's just not a good three-point shooter. Not. He never has been. Not. So so right now he's 31.5% from three. Mm -hmm. That ranks 155th of 159 qualified. Now not raining on his parade. I'm I'm actually I'm actually fueling his parade because he does what he does and he can't shoot. Right. And from the free throw line, he ranks 102nd of 109 qualified free throw shooters. And the people below him are named Rudy Gobert. Your man, Big Penguin, Andre Drummond, <laughs> Ben Simmons, Dwight Howard, Clint Capella, who played last night for the Hawks. Okay, so so he's All down there. He, he's down there with the bigs and shooting free throws. He's a point guard, and he's an extraordinary. He is a first ballot Hall of Fame yeah, point guard, yeah. and he can't shoot threes and he can't shoot free throws. Well, I I applaud that because it's just not. He wasn't blessed with that stroke. Right. He doesn't have that. Right. But boy, he's got everything else. Yeah. And and as Scott Brooks keeps saying. Nobody can impact the stat sheet in all three categories no. the way he can. Magic couldn't do it. No, Magic no, said no, no, a couple no. days ago. Ma Magic couldn't score or rebound the ball like that. But Skip, normally Magic was one of the few point guards, but he was six nine, so it's hard to say he was a true point guard because he could have been a power forward, he could have been a small forward. Hell, maybe back then he could have been, been a center, Skip. But Russ is on the free throw line trying to get when they shoot free throw, Skip. Russ gets four or five rebounds a game on yes, missed free throws. On missed free throws. You don't oh, see point, point no. guards are back. They don't. They were never on the line. No. Nope. And that's what Russ is. So, so give him credit. Skip, I didn't think anybody was 100. Because, like I said, when I was a kid, triple jumpers was so hard to get. Magic had a great season if he got 10 in a season. Yeah. This guy got 32, 33. I, I got it. By the way, I was watching him in pregame warm-ups last night. I was thinking – because he had on a tight top. Yeah. He's yoked up, man. Yeah. I mean, for a 6'3 guy, because he knew, I got to do this. I got to be this physical if I'm going to average do, 10 boards. Do, do, yeah, he has to be skipped to kick the kind of pounding because yep. he's going in there amongst the trees. He's spending a lot of time. They're knocking him down. So he has to withstand that kind of punishment. But to give, I mean, Skip, I didn't think anybody was going to get, I mean, he's going to be over, hell, by the time he's done, he might have 250 uh, triple doubles. Mm. Then I said, yeah, I'm going to see somebody who's going to break that.
Nobody. I, I mean, we said that about Oscar, but but Let's I just say nobody. It's impossible. It's just. Like, I mean, he's getting. I mean, think about it. His first six years, he only had eight. The man had eight triple doubles in his first six seasons. He did. So what have you said repeatedly on the show about Russ in the playoffs? <clears throat> you don't think he loses any sleep not having won a no, championship? No, no, hell no. Okay, so I was thinking about you last night at the end of the game because no sooner had he missed that three badly that he just seemed not affected by it at all. He didn't hang his head right. or, or scowl or, or show any emotion he at all. The he he, he the turned ball. and went to what, he goes right and gets the basketball from the referee. Okay, because he knew all no, that really remember. mattered last night was not that he missed the three, it's that he did it again and he eclipsed Oscar Robertson, right. the great Oscar Robertson, who was much bigger than Russ. Yeah. I mean, and Oscar Russ was, was like 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. Yeah. And, and a big yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, was out the, he was over 200 pounds. He was probably over Ooh. 200 pounds. Ooh. So, way to go. I congratulate him. Right. And I, I don't know if he's ever going to win a championship, but, boy, he, he won over a lot. Yeah, of, I probably would have went and got that ball too, Skip. I you? understand. I, it's in a loss. Yeah, I wouldn't got that ball. But, I mean, he didn't even, like, lean over and, and hurt for a second. You know like, what, oh, Skip? I missed it. You know what I think it is, Skip? I think Russ put so much into it. Yeah. He says, I'm not cheating the game. It's not like I went out late last night. I'm hung over. He's like, I give everything. Skip, and if, you, if a guy gives everything he has in a game, win, lose, or draw, I can accept the outcome. And he's one of those guys. Now, I'm not one of those. I, I, I'm, I'm a poor loser. I'm so, I ain't, no, ain't nowhere mm -hmm. right, Skip. I'm, hang, I'm hanging my head. I don't give a damn how good I play. If I lose the game, I'm, a, I'm, I'm upset. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of quiet. I'm, I want to be to myself. I, I, hey, I watch you lose every day on this show, <laughs> so I know what a poor loser you are. <laughs> but, but, Russ, you know, Skip, I would have really got the ball, too. Because at first I was like, okay, what, why, why, does he, why does he want the ball? Is, is he want to, like, maybe, like, you know, practice this shot again? <laughs> no. And then it dawned him, oh, no. it's, he passed, he broke off. History. Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I kind of liked how he said, I'm going to pat myself on the back tonight. I don't <laughs> always do it. I know. I just thought it was refreshing to hear those words from him. And congratulations all around. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.